Hello once again everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time joining me today. Hi, my name is Hannah. I make a lot of different videos here on YouTube. Sometimes YouTube's wow plural. Sometimes story times, sometimes tattoo related, sometimes baby related. It's a mixed bag here. So if you are new or even if you're returning, I highly recommend that you check out the playlists on my channel. Um, I like to believe I have a little bit of something for everybody here. Um, but without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So, as you can probably tell from the title, this is kind of a crazy video and I don't know how I haven't told this story before. It kind of just popped into my head the other day because I was, well, we were driving past the park where this story time took place and I like had a total flashback of like all the memories and everything. So, anyway, that's why I haven't told this story yet. Like this story happened when I was like... 18 it was my freshman semester of college okay so this it's it's been a minute since this happened this happened in like the fall of 2016 so this is pretty much a three-year-old story i don't know i have no idea maybe i repressed the memories but whatever so anyway I went to this local park one day and one of my really good friends was supposed to meet me there after class. So I went ahead and went over there because I was, you know, free. I just went ahead over there and I was just kind of hanging out, you know. I was like, it's kind of a big park too, not like huge, but I would say like a medium, medium to large size. So anyway, it was probably five or six in the afternoon, I would say. It wasn't quite dark yet. It was just, it was that point in the fall where it starts getting dark sooner, but it wasn't like five o'clock, it's dark, you know? Like it was probably around this time, like um, end of August, early September. Anyways, so I was just kind of hanging out. Um, whenever I went to this park, I always wanted to go and just swing on the swings because I, I'm a child and I love swinging on swing sets. I don't know. Is that just me? I love it. So anyway, that's what I was doing. I was just kind of hanging out. Um, I had my little headphones in and I was listening to music, um, just kind of looking around the park. Like it wasn't like empty or anything. There were several people there, but it wasn't like people were in the area that I was in. So like I could see people from a distance, but there wasn't anybody like in close proximity to me, you know? So I was just kind of hanging out on the swings and um, where the swings are, it's like, here's the swings. Right in front of the swings is a road that goes like down to the tennis court area of the park. And, you know, so swings, road, and then in front of the road, um, on the other side of the road, was like the big building where the bathrooms are. It had like the bathrooms. I think there was an office right there. And that's where all of like the park um, trucks would park. Like the people who take care of the grounds and everything, that's where they would park like their big trucks with all the stuff in the back. So I was just kind of sitting there and I saw two of those trucks pull into their little parking spots, but I wasn't really thinking about it, you know? I was just kind of hanging out. And uh, I was listening to my music, like I said. I, did, I had both earphones in, I didn't have just one in. So anyway, I was sitting there and one of the men got out of his park truck and he saw me over there and he just kind of waved. So I didn't think anything of it. I just kind of waved back, you know? I mean, it's the polite thing to do. So I was like, whatever. So I did that and I didn't think anything of it, like I said, and I waited probably 15 or 20 minutes, just still waiting for my friend to get done with class so he could come and hang out with me. So anyway, like I said, I was in there for probably 15 or 20 minutes and I noticed that same truck where the guy like waved at me, the truck backed out of its parking spot and came like driving really slow on that road in front of the swings. So I was like, what's going on? Like super slow, okay? Like as if there were children playing right there, you know? 
So I was just, I, like I said though, I didn't think anything of it. I was still minding my business, listening to my music. But then the truck drove from like the little road in front of me up onto the grass, like directly in front of the swings where I was, like in the grass. And I was like, uh, like what's going on? And the guy inside that had waved at me, rolled his window down and he's like, do you need some company? And this man looked like he was like, 30 something or 40 even and I was just like no like I'm just waiting for my friend like he's he's on his way he'll be here soon and he was just like oh okay are you sure like what are you listening to I'm like yeah I'm sure you know <laughs> I, leave me alone you know so he drives off and he had somebody else in the car with him so I'm like why did you not tell him that that was creepy to do I don't know but whatever so anyway I continued to wait and wait and my friend got stuck in traffic so it took a little bit longer than anticipated but whatever because I mean it was like around five you know so anyway <clears throat> I was still waiting there and probably 10 or 15 minutes after the guy had already like drove off he drove like around the back of the swings and back around to me and he was like where's your friend like where's your friend do you need some company and I'm like no I don't need company my friend is stuck in traffic he's on his way like what do you want from me? And he's like, oh, okay, well, I'm not trying to holler or anything. And I'm like, sir, you're like 30 or 40. Like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't care. Go do your job. Like you are in a company, not company, but in like a city truck, you know, you, you work for the city because this is a public park, you know, you're, <laughs> you're in a city truck in a city park uniform, Try, like harassing me like what are you doing so I was just like no you know he's almost here like he was stuck in traffic or whatever and he was just like oh okay okay I'm not trying to holla I'm not trying to holla I'm like okay whatever so at this point after he drives off again I had texted my friend and I was just like look I don't care if you're almost here or what I'm gonna go back and sit in my car because I don't feel safe. Like, this is weird. It's starting to get darker outside. Like, this is weird. I'm not doing this. So anyway, he's like, yeah, that's probably a solid idea until I get there. Um, and even then I was just like, okay, I don't wanna chill at the park anymore. Like, I wanna go somewhere else. Like, we can go sit in a Walmart parking lot. I don't care, uh, but we're not doing this. So anyway, <laughs> I, went back to my car and my car wasn't parked that far away from where the swings and everything were it was probably like literally a five minute walk so i walked down the sidewalk to my car and once i got in my car mind you i drove at this point a 2001 toyota camry and that car i don't know if it was because it was older or what it had like extremely dark windows and it wasn't like the previous owner tinted them or anything um because the previous owner was an old woman <laughs> so it wasn't like that it was just like the factory default was um a pretty dark tint like you couldn't really see inside the windows um very much especially not on like the side doors like i don't know how well you could see in the windshield but the side like the doors you couldn't see in very well at all so anyway once i was in my car i locked my doors of course and i was sitting there and i was like um i was just like playing on my phone while i waited for my friend to drive up because the parking lot that i was in only had two cars in it and one of them was mine so i was just sitting there and i told him i like texted him and i was like hey i'm in this parking lot or whatever so while i'm sitting there i notice in my rear view mirror that that same park truck with that guy in it is like circling around the parking lot that I'm in. I'm sorry, what? Like circling around the parking lot that I'm in, okay? Super creepy and like super slow. And at this point, it's just that one guy, he doesn't have anybody in the car, in the truck with him anymore. It's just that one guy that was like freaking me out. So anyway, I was very aware of how dark my windows were. So instead of just continuing to sit there, in the freaking you know driver's side seat just sitting upright i like slid down as low as i possibly could 
And finally, after like 10 minutes of circling that parking lot, the dude drove away. And I don't know if he thought that I had left or if I was going to call the cops because I really was. <laughs> so yeah, it was just a really weird, scary situation. And after that, my friend like finally showed up because if he wouldn't have showed up within like the next five minutes, I was just going to leave, like go somewhere else. So he finally showed up and then we both drove to, I don't know where we went. We might have went to a Walmart or something. I don't know. But yeah, no, mm -mm, never again. Never going to that park again because I'm so sketched out about it. Like I was freaked out, okay? It was just, it was so weird. Thank you guys once again so, so much for joining me today. Leave me a like if you liked the video. Comment down below. Tell me if you've ever had any weird almost kidnapped experiences um and don't forget to subscribe because i make new videos every monday and friday thank you guys once again so so much for joining me today and i'll see you guys next time bye